My name is Paolo Maurensic. Today is the pub day of the English translation of my book, A Devil Comes to Town, published by World Editions. To celebrate, we are kicking off a read along with one page of the book being read every day. I hope you will join us. What can prompt us to approach the difficult task of re-examining the many useless items that we've accumulated over the years and never found the courage to discard an upcoming move, maybe, or as in my case, the need to clear out the room. Till now, a repository for worthless junk, so it could be put to different use. I can think of any other reason. Before parting with an object, think twice about it, and most of the time we choose to keep it, convincing ourselves that it might be useful again in the future. Meanwhile, things pile up until we are forced to make a clean sweep. Then we begin journey back in memory. We browse through our past. We pause to case at old photos, to reread letters that we don't remember having received, books with dedication, manuscripts. And I had stacks and stacks of those since the publication of a fortuitous novel had afforded me a certain renown. I had become a pole of attraction for aspiring writers. Their manuscripts started coming with impressive regularity. The authors all requesting that, it, that I not only read them, but give them my professional opinion, and possibly introduce them to some publisher, perhaps with the addition of a preface written in my hand. At the beginning, I would take the trouble to read the text through to the end, but I quickly realized that I would never be able to keep up and that I would be spending most of my time on works of little or no interest. Getting rid of them however, isn't so easy. If it already pains me to have to part with an object, no matter how useless it may be, there is a certain regard for the author that each time stops me from disposing of the man in your scripts. Consequently, I wanted to make sure I hadn't made any error or assessment before sending them to be piped. As I said, they're flipping through one manuscript. After another, I came across a large manila envelope still sealed, amply covered by a mosaic of steps from the Helvetic Confederation.
Asia. And then I turned up the flap and found myself holding a text of roughly a hundred typed pages. There was no letter attached, nor was 